Hey guys, today we're going to do some modern. Uh, this is actually standard. I'm going to put standard away for a little bit and we're going to do modern. I think my modern, I spend the most money on modern pretty much because modern is modern. So I'll talk about this card for a little bit. It is a foil expedition fetch land. Expeditions are dropping, they are continue to tank. I don't see them. I don't see them not tanking for a while. I feel like their price point will continue to drop and it's really that too much product has come out. So people who were collecting expeditions are now selling them because they want to buy Eternal Masters, they want to buy Eldritch Moon, they want to buy Commander 2016. So your casual crowd is definitely getting out of this type of card, which is reducing the price because there's high supply. I like it. But at the same time, I only like it at a good price, and I did get this one at, I believe, $100. Uh, Noble Hierarch, I just sold to a subscriber four Noble Hierarchs from Conflux, two Maleras, and four Cocos, all near mint, uh, worth tracking and shipping. I think that was $230. So uh, hopefully that subscriber uh, gets the package soon. It does have tracking, and I did ship it. Uh, using, you know, the best tracking possible. So, uh, Court of Calling, again, I talked about this card. I like it from a speculation point of view. It is very, it's a very good card. It's seeing immense play. I like this card. This kind of card's kind of casual. Ad Nauseam. Ad Nauseam is pretty good. It is a deck and the price is kind of getting high. I have to make my playset. I still don't have a playset of it. For the most part, I have a playset of everything I have in Modern because although you don't know what's going to spike, if you have a playset of everything, you don't need to worry about what's going to spike. Uh, now I'll talk about my main speculation is Grogary Grave Troll. This card has spiked up in price. I was able to pick a ton of them from uh, various locals in Houston and Dallas. I was in Dallas two weekends ago. No, I was two weekends ago. And I did a lot of, I was with a friend and we did a lot of uh, shopping and it was great because we went to stores and we were able to pick these up. I was able to pick uh, these up, which will be for a later video. But Gogari Grave Trail, I picked up 10 of them. Some of them are damaged and you know, it's, it's an old card. So I like it a lot, mainly because now the Eternal Masters has come out, the Cheap, one of the cheaper decks that does win quite a bit is Dreads. Uh, the only card that I would really worry about in Dreads is Lion's Eye Diamond. And yes, that card is on the reserve list, so it does make it, in my opinion, more difficult. Uh, but for the most part, people will always like Dreads. They want Dreads in Modern, they want Dreads in Legacy, and Dreads has always been a popular deck and it's not gonna go anywhere. Grave Troll has immense upside. Uh, still, it still has upside, I believe, because um, the graveyard is only going to get better and better. Even when we go to the moon set, if you look at Emiko, he's a graveyard-based card. And this card might be, go good with that. Assuming Emiko wasn't as weak as he currently is, in my opinion, if Emiko was amazing and you just had to get six cards in your graveyard, this card would do it. Right? This card would allow you to get cards in your graveyard extremely fast. So this card, very good speculation. I like it a lot. I think it still has room to grow. I picked these up for like very cheap, pre-spike prices. Flames, uh, Storm, again, I'm just trying to pick up play sets of cards where I know that uh, they are tier two decks now, but those decks, always, those cards always have the option of spiking and that's really annoying to me. So I always want to pick up cards as soon as I can. And then just these, I again went shop, went to a few various shops and these just sell for, they sit in these common bins all the time because of the symbol, antiquities. Well, obviously these are white bordered because if they were black bordered, someone would have took them already. And these are no longer like 25 cents or I think that was like 15 cents on commons. These were in a common bin and that's fantastic. And I would definitely suggest that if you have a locals, hey, take a look, you know, ask for white bordered or wherever they put the chronicle cards and look at them because these cards are actually a few dollars. 
and Tron, I feel like will be a good deck. It's a tier two deck right now, but now that Adrazi has gotten weaker, Tron is a very similar build in my opinion. So Tron should make a recovery. Well, all the decks minus Adrazi will make a recovery. So picking these up for like 25 cents, 15 cents, uh, you're still very capable, you still can do that. Um, and normally what happens is if you find one of them, you're gonna find a bunch. And that's probably one of the reasons I like them as a pickup right now. Anyway, bye.